Hey, welcome back to Hobbies with Jose. I'm Jose Carbajal. Today we've got issues 121 and 122 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Welcome back to Hobbies with Jose, everyone. Good to have you back. So today we're going to keep working on our back plate here, and we're going to add an iconic piece, start working on one of the back fins. So let's see what we've got on issue 121. <laughs> okay, so I think we have a new prize winner for fewest pieces in an issue here. And if honestly, if this wasn't such, a, such an iconic piece, this really would be more disappointing. But again, it's still two pieces here. So... We have here what the magazine calls left reactor exhaust cowl and a pipe. No screws, so all we're going to do is take our pipe here and there's, there's one side that's at an angle, uh, which is this section here. And here's a better view of the pipe, it's number 121B. You can see that this peg here is straight and this one's at an angle. And it's going to go onto these two holes here, so this hole that's at an angle we'll have the corresponding peg. Yep, just like that. And that's issue 121. Didn't even break a sweat, so let's move on to issue 122 and see what we're going to add to it. Here we have the parts for issue 122, a few more pieces to work with here. We have these veins, what the uh, magazine is calling them, they're going to go inside of the cowl piece and they are numbered, so you have 1, 2, and 3. We have another cable section and some more screws, NP and FP. And we're going to start with the first vein, number 1, which you can see up here, and it's going to go inside the cowl on the top section here at an angle and it's going to have some NP screws on each side. And next we're going to take vein number two, and that one's going to go right in the middle. There we go. And we're going to keep adding some more NP screws to the sides. And lastly, we're going to take our third vein, number three, and that's going to go right in the bottom here. And this one's only going to have one NP screw on each side.
And next we're going to take our cable section, number 122D. Both ends do look the same, so I don't think it matters which side goes where. But we're going to put one right into this hole here. Uh, something like that. All right, so now is where it could get a little bit tricky here, but we're going to take our cowl piece and the three screw holes on the bottom, we're going to line them up with these three holes onto our back plate. And we want to be careful not to move around this pipe, of course, but also to not right away not touch these pipes so we don't want to knock them up, but they're going to go eventually right behind the cowl piece onto the three large holes there. There we go. They got knocked out anyways, but they go in there pretty well. And I think once we screw this in, they should stay in place pretty good. And speaking of screwing it in, we're going to hold the piece in place carefully here. Turn the whole piece over and now we're going to be screwing in some FP screws on the bottom. And once we have that screwed in place, we do have this black hose piece that's going to go right on to the other remaining hole right in the back there. And lastly, we're going to connect the other end of our cable number 122D, and that's going to go right into the last hole right there in the back plate. I think I'm going to use some tweezers for this side here. And just like that. And there we have the end of issue 122, everyone. As you may have guessed, for the next two issues, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So, hope you can join me on that. We're definitely getting closer towards the end here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.